Hello everyone, we will continue the topic type group and in the previous video we discussed what type group is, yes, what is the transaction code to create a type group whenever you are providing the structure type or table types in the type group, what is the naming convention for the same after that we discussed what is the benefit or how we can use a type group in a program then at the last we discuss the disadvantage of the type group now what we will do we will simply start with the practical part and we will see how type group is increasing the readability and reusability of the code so firstly what i will do suppose i will create two programs to understand the concept what i will do firstly i will create two programs you all know you can create a program through SC38 transaction code. Suppose I am saying Z sales program 1. Suppose I will simply create. Suppose I will give to display the sales order details. Anyways, I will not go for any logic part to display the sales order details. I'm taking the type as executable program. I will go for save. I will save this as a local object. Suppose into this particular program, we want to fetch the data from VBAK and VBAP. So I will create firstly structure type for structure types for VBAK and VBAP. Suppose I am going for types, big and off. LTY VBAK. Suppose I am taking four columns from VBAK. VBELN, data element of VBELN. ER DAT. ERZED. ER NUM. VB type. I remember the data element, so I use directly. You can simply, simply open a table and copy paste from there. Suppose I'm ending this particular structure type. I'm creating one more structure type. Suppose for VBAP. Begin of LTY VBAP. Suppose we will go for VBELN. Then we have POSNA. And then we have mapping. I will end this particular structure type also. Suppose I will go for one more structure type. Suppose for MAKT table. Begin of LTY underscore MAKT. Suppose I am taking Matena. And suppose I am taking MAKTX. If you have not remembered the data elements, you can simply open the table in a new session and you can copy this. So I declared three structure types. I am activating the program. I am not going for any logic part because that is not our target. Suppose now I am creating one more group. Suppose in that program, I will go for create to display the sales order details. We'll go for type as executable. I will go for save. I will save this as a local object. Now, Suppose in this program also, I require structure types of VBAK, VBAP, MAKT, and same to same columns are there. So what I will do, suppose I'm copy pasting, and I will paste into this program. Suppose you have another program also, there you require structure types. You can go for table types also. As of now, I'm just, I'm just taking structure type. Now, 
Now we are going for declaring the structure types in each and every program. Suppose if we have 20, 25 programs and we are going for same to same structure type, every time we are going for same to same kind of logic. Now, if you think, yes, this is the most, most common repetitive declarations are there. So what you can do, you can simply create a type group. So what I will do, I will go to SC11 transaction group. Now, we will simply go for 4th radio button type group. I will give the first letter starting with Z or Y because we are creating a custom type group. Suppose I am saying sales talk. S talk. I am going for create. Okay, it's already exists. So I will give some different name. Suppose I will give S A D C. Suppose sales talk. S A D. I will go for create. Suppose I will give the short description. Type group for sales order. Structure types and table types. For best word, I will simply write data types because data types include structure type and table types. I will go for save. I will save this as a local object. Now you can see we are getting type pool name of that type group. I will simply, simply activate. Now into this type group, I will simply, simply define those three structure types which I am declaring in individual program. So firstly, suppose I am writing types. Firstly, I will write manually so that you can understand we need to follow some naming convention. Suppose I am writing begin of LTY underscore VBAK. I will just copy the names. These are the names. And I will end this particular structure type. End of. Now, now we have not followed the naming convention. Suppose if I will check the syntax at this point of time, it will give me syntax error. All names must begin with name of the type group underscore. This is the point which we studied at that point of time. All names should start with name of the type group underscore whatever the name you want to give. So what is the name of our type group? Z Z S A D U. So I will give this underscore. I will give this underscore. You cannot give any name. The naming convention should be yes. Your name of the type group underscore whatever the name you want to give. If I will check the syntax. Now you can see there is no syntax error. Same way, I will go for VBAP and this MAKT. I'll copy yes. Anyways, we already declared. We'll just change that name. Now, I will simply put this because for these two also, we'll get the syntax error. I will just copy this also. This also. This also. Now, if I will check the syntax and I will activate this particular type. Now, rather than writing the individual logics in individual logic in multiple programs, now what I can do, I can simply, simply use this. How you can use that type group into your program? Simply write type pools. Now you can give the name of the type group this way. Now, if I will simply, simply go for this. Now I'm commenting this part. 
now first program done okay we need to use type pools sorry type pools i will simply use type pools by mistake i put type pool this is our second program same way i will do in the first program this is our first program i just check okay i'll go for first program i think by mistake i closed this is our first program and in this first program also it's already open i'll check where it is open it is open here yeah, sorry and i will comment this now you can see how the readability of the code is increasing rather than going for this much logic we have only this and this has this one everything yes now you can see reusability of the code we created the type group once and we are using in multiple number of programs now you can simply suppose if i want to declare internal table how i can write the data lt underscore vbak type table of what is the name of this zsado underscore lty underscore vbak this is the name we gave yes now we gave go for work area lwa vbak type this is our work area now same way i will declare the internal tables for vbap same way for mak this is vbap this is vbap this is vbap vbap this is our mak this is our mak this is our MAKT and this is our MAKT. Now, all these structure types I have not defined in the program. Yes, these all are in this particular type group and we are using this type group. So we can simply use this in our program. So this is how the readability of the code is increasing. Same way I can use in another program also. Just now I took the example of structure type. You can go for table type also. So this particular program also can access these structure types and we are declaring the internal table based upon those structure types. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with the practical part. So firstly, what I did, I created two individual programs. And in that program, I showed you, I declared structure types into those two programs. So if we have a concept of type group and you know, this is the most, most widely used structure type or table types, which you will use in multiple programs. But it's good option. Create a type group. In that type group, pass all those structure type and table type and use in multiple programs. Then with the help of SC11, we created a type group or you can say when created a type pool. At that time, I gave any name, but system provided the error. So we simply corrected that error. We gave the name. We, start, we started with name of, name of type group underscore whatever you want to give same thing i did for these three now into these two programs i simply commented the structure types which we declared yes we simply included that type group into this program by using the keyword type pools the keyword is type pools by mistake i i have put i have passed this type pool with type pools yes after that, I declare the internal table and work area using those structure types. Now, in the next video, we will simply compare this concept to class types, global class types, so that we can understand 
why now SAP is saying do not go for type group, use the class types. So in the next video, we will simply go for the comparison of the same. So that's it in this video. Thank you.